Alright, first and foremost, I'm going to say all honor and praise be unto Yahweh by Shemel Shai, double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Moonstone, and Shalom to the sincere elect out there teaching this truth and sincerity through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shemel Shai. And the quick point I'll um, speak upon uh, quickly, this is um, episode 8 of Mystical Miracles of the Scriptures, man. And um, basically, what we be going um, speak about is uh, when uh, 185,000 Assyrians, man, got you know killed, man. You know the the the, the army, you know, during the uh, time period of um, Hezekiah, man. You know, because uh, what was happening was the um, king. Uh, <laughs> An accurate, you know, of, of the uh, Assyrians were just talking up really uh, puffed up and proud, saying, you know, he I'm um, going to come into um, our land and conquer us, and that the, the, the every um, father, you know, want to protect us and so on and so forth. But his, his, his own words came upon his head and the um, Lord took care of us man you know and this is a primary um, example of, of the power you know of the Lord and that really during this time period which is about to come upon from the earth the same thing will um, take place too you know which is what the um, Lord Fighting for the twelve tribes of Israel against the actual heathen, but but, but this time period it, it, it'll be what the um, Lord fighting for the uh, elect of Israel against all these heathen man, you know, and uh, <laughs> delivering us man. This is um Second Kings. 19 and, and 32 the, the, therefore thus saith the Lord concerning the king of Assyria he shall not come into the city nor shoot an uh, arrow there nor come before it with shield nor cast a bank against it by the way he came by the same shall he return and shall not come into this city save the Lord because when you read it he actually sent um, messengers, man, who came up all puffed up and proud to talk about all, 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 all kind of shit, man. But the um, Lord said what? That he going to fight, man. It says, by the way he came, by the same he shall return and shall not come into the city, saith the Lord, Yahweh, for I will defend this city to save it for my own sake and for my servant David's sake right and it came to pass that at night that the angel of the Lord went out and smote in the camp of the Assyrians a hundred and four score and five thousand so that's a hundred eighty five thousand and when they rose up early in the morning, behold, they were all dead corpses. So the Lord sent an angel, man, one angel, <laughs> right? Which I believe the uh, um, apostle was saying is a uh, I was shy, you know, uh, from what I can I, I remember, you know, but. Uh, until then, I can't confirm that, but that's uh, that's what uh, um, I believe that the apostle once said. I believe it was, yeah, it was. It? Hmm. So anyway, uh, and it came to pass that that night that the angel of the Lord went out and smote in the camp of the Assyrians, a hundred and four score and five thousand. And when they rose early in the morning, behold, they were, they were all dead. They were all dead. Corpses, man. 
So, so this right here is the power of the, 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 the Lord, man. And it says, so Sennacherib, king of, of Assyria, departed and went and returned and dwelt at Nineveh. So, scripture says what? That the angel of the, the um, Lord, well, one angel of the Lord, went into the camp of, of the Assyrians and killed 185,000 men because they came to fight against us to try and conquer us well we'll try and fight against the uh, kingdom of judah and 185,000 of them just got got got, got slaughtered man 185,000 assyrians got slaughtered man and that right there was from what well, 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 one angel well <laughs> the scary thing for you heathen is that there is an innumerable amount of angels and they are coming back with the Lord when he comes upon the earth this is Psalms um, 103 and 20 bless the Lord yeah yea his angels that excel in strength and that do his commandments hearkening unto the voice of his word so it says what the, the angels of the lord right that they excel in strength right and 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 and, and they're, 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 they're you know they're, they're they're perfect and powerful to the point that one killed 185,000 assyrians but the scripture says what that that ex that he his, his angels excel in strength. Now let's go into the word excel. Excel it says to be strong, mighty and brave. So so that means they're 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 they're, they're, they're powerful. Cause guess what? Uh, it says by but it says short definition powerful a warrior man you know so all these angels are powerful man and uh, warriors and if 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 one angel killed 185,000 Assyrians right how, how on earth is Esau going to fight when the the Lord comes with his innumerable amount of angels as the scripture says and this is a uh, says uh second is six and three before the fair flowers were seen and ever and or ever the movable powers were established before the innumerable multitude of angels were gathered <laughs> together basically the actual purpose of bringing out that scripture was to prove that there's an innumerable amount of angels man so it is an innumerable innumerable amount of angels how is Esau going to really fight against the Lord when he comes back with that company of angels man because the scripture says if this was my kingdom my servants I'll fight right well, in, in, in this time period, the kingdom of the Lord is going to be established. And him and his angels and his elect are going to fight, man. So how the, how the hell is Esau going to come against that? This is um, Revelation uh, 19 and 11. And I saw heaven opened it, and behold, a white host. And he that sat upon him was called faithful and true. And in righteousness he doth judge and make war. His eyes were as a flame of fire, and on his head were many crowns. And he had a name written that no man knew but he himself. And he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood, and his name is called the Word of God. And the armies which followed in in heaven were followed. And 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 the armies which were were in heaven followed him upon white horses. Those, those those horses is 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 is, 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 is what you people even call the UFOs, man. 
because back then that was a primary mode of transport and it's basically being described as, described as horses because it's powerful and uh, basically very powerful forms of transport and, and those uh, powerful forms of transport is talking about is what you people ignorant call UFOs man and it says and the, the armies which are, were in heaven followed him upon white horses clothed in fine linen white and clean so when, when the Lord actually comes man he, he, he's coming back with what Our armies of angels man in UFOs this is a uh, Isaiah 66 and I believe 16 it says I'm 15 on down for behold the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flame and fire so when it says with his chariots that's talking about him coming in, in a big chariot and his angels also come in chariots man with the chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire for by fire and his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh and the slain of the Lord shall be many the slain of the Lord is, is going to be a great amount because look if one angel killed 185,000 Assyrians right and he's coming back with an innumerable amount of angels right <laughs> Then of course there there is there there is gonna be a lot of death, man. Because it simply says the slain of the Lord shall be many, man. You know? I believe uh it's not one. There's another one somewhere. Uh this is uh Zechariah five and one. Uh and, and one. Then I turned and lifted up my eyes and looked, and behold, a flying roll. He's just talking about when he saw a chariot, man, when he saw you were fall. And he said unto me, What seest thou? And I answered, I see a flying roll. The, the, the length thereof is twenty cubits, and the breadth thereof is ten cubits. Then said he unto me, This is the curse that goeth over the face of the whole earth. For everyone that stealeth shall be cut off as on the side according to it, and, and everyone that sweareth shall be cut off on the side according to it. I will bring it forth, saith the Lord, and it shall enter into the house of the thief. And, 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 and who's the thief? The thief is Esau, man. And it's about to enter into his house, his kingdom. Starting off with over there, man, you know, in the, the, the United States of America. But, but like, it's actually going to enter into his kingdom, man. And guess what? His, 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 his kingdom is going to be taken down. And into the house of him that swear falsely by my name, and it shall remain in the midst of his house, and it shall consume it with the timber thereof and the stones thereof. That's right, because guess what? You know, the the chariots of the Lord, the Lord and his angels are going to play a part in the destruction of the kingdom of Esau. So, you know, so that was the point. And the point there to understand from that was what? Hey, just how the young Lord fought for us back then. Even also in the time time period of Egypt, which is the period of Passover, you know, it's like the the the, the, the Lord was fought for us now, uh, man, and now he's gonna fight for us again. But this time he's gonna fight off fight for his elect, man, right? And in turn, all Israel, and that's gonna take place when what he 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 gives his servants power, right? His his servants who have been pushing his word, the spiritual power. When he himself comes in a big chariot, and when he comes with an innumerable amount of angels, which excel in strength. So with that, I'm going to say, oh, honor and praise be to Abba Shemashai, and double honors of the apostles, and elders of great and most time with that, I'm going to say, Shalom.